hi and I have decided to play another game today which is going to be guess that book game I am doing it with my cousin Harley who is from the blog Harley Reads so go and follow him on there so what we're going to do is that we're going to pick a book each um, and then we're just going to have like three clues to give the other person and they have to try to guess it and if they don't then the other one gets a point yes so let's do it. Okay, so this is the first book for all of you to see. Uh, it is also, no, that's a clue, I can't say that. So the three clues that I have got is um, a car accident, an out of body experience, and music. I'm going Mozart with If I Stay. Yeah, <laughs> easy. This is the book I've chosen, so three clues, I'm going to say a swimming pool, um, same sex couple, and an accident. It could be Unspeakable um, by Abby Rushton, because I know that's got same sex, mm, actually no there isn't a swimming pool, I don't go swimming, there, that's, that's the forest, so ah. Oh. Aristotle and Dante. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> we both read this book and I think we both fell in love with it equally. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Dance, clap your eyes. Okay, so this is the next book that I have chosen, which I'm going to have my three clues as vampires, a kick ass female lead who I also wish was my book girlfriend because she's amazing. And a Russian love interest. Great accent again. Um, ooh, I'm definitely gonna have to go with. It's definitely not Twilight. It could be Twilight with those Russian accents. Yeah, but I prefer a Rose Hathaway to a Bella Swan. Any day. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? Yeah, you Vampire got it. Academy? Yeah, you got yeah. it right. <laughs> Ellen? Nice clothes? Close your eyes. Okay. <laughs> Nothing up there. Close your eyes. Alright, this is the book I have chosen. I'm gonna go to book to movie adaptation. That could literally be anything. Could there are be. so many. That does, yep. that, does that even this include? This is a good one. Um, so that rules out. So. Um, so <laughs> bye bye, vampire okay. Single female role. And if you want to be future romance, and I want to be a future bromance. Dylan O'Brien. Obviously is gonna be the maze runner. <laughs> Obviously. It's like Dylan O'Brien in a young adult book to new nation where there's only one female lead character. I have chose this book here. Which is pretty damn well known. That's the extra, extra clear getting there. So this book, um, teen romance, uh, it's gonna make you cry like a baby. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know. If he, did he make me cry twice? It makes you cry every time. Yeah, every time I read e it. Every time. And when we went to watch the movie. Every time. Yeah, and then when we watch the movie again. Every time. Yeah. Uh, Fault in Our Skies. Yeah, you got that one. I'm gonna just be like <laughs> crying. Joke. Oh, what can I say about this one? Um, your favorite author. Mm, that's, that narrows it down already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have met this guy. Just FYI. <laughs> I know which books <laughs> is gonna be now. Um, I'm gonna say cards. And ooh, good Samaritan. I'm the messenger. Straight up. Since you mentioned the cards, it's Mark and Zuzak, best author ever. Best author ever. And he's Australian. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I have chosen this one as my last book, and plus we're kind of both winning at this game. I don't think it's going to be really be a competition because we both know our books too well. So starting off, um, it is going to be a TV show, or it's gonna, it is a TV show. Don't guess too early, otherwise I can strike you out. If I wanted to, you I could press power. you out. But no, um, it's in a city. Okay. 
Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And it is paranormal. <laughs> yeah, because you're guessing everyone. Um, um, Dominic Cher, what comes to mind? Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. Um. There's there's a phenomenal cast. Yeah, including um, cats. Yes. A good little churchy. Church. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna have to say the mortal instruments. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I got that one. Yeah. It's so. Yeah. Anyway, um, so this is the book I've chosen. Uh, my three clues. Good book, good choice, good choice. I don't know what it is, you guys are close. Good choice. Yeah, I'm sure feeling it. It's a good uh -huh. choice. Yeah, mm -hmm. with your psychic powers, mind reading. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go. Clue? Is that a clue? Child imprisonment. Um, supernatural powers. Mm. Still and could be quite a lot of books. About the only series that I've read fully. And you have. Yes, I'm dubbing you in there. <laughs> exactly I think I've already admitted that I haven't finished the Darkest Mind series. I don't want it to end. Does that count as an excuse? No, Alexander Bracken will be very disappointed in you. I, I, I love you, Alexander Bracken. I do. Just not enough to finish the series. I, have to, I love you so much that I can't finish the series. Mm -hmm. And I can open my eyes and I have them close. No. <laughs> So I think it is safe to say that we are both winners and grinners in this game because we're just too good with guessing books or we're just too easy with giving clues. Um, <laughs> a link below to Harley's right there. blog. Yeah, it's gonna right there, like you said. Um, I'll put it right there. Um, but yes, anyway, thank you for watching and yes. I just want to do the swipe away. So. <laughs> I haven't ever done the swipe away. Swipe what away. are we swiping away? My head. Okay, so I have to. Okay, okay. Just have to swipe, so just something. swipe it away. Okay, so do the swipe. Go and do the swipe. <laughs> <laughs>